Hello everyone, Scott Weingold with the College Planning Network here. And today what I wanted to talk about was the three little ways to get more free money for college. Um, an enormous part of having a successful college plan in place is to make sure that you are maximizing the amount of free money that your family is eligible for. So what I did, I put together just three strategies that anyone can use to try to maximize the amount of free money that they get. So taking a look at number one, um, base income year planning. Basically January 1st, of your child's junior year till December 31st of their senior year. That's what's called the base income year. That's the year with, that the schools will actually scrutinize everything that you do. So you gotta be careful in this year. Um, assets count against you, but income counts even more so when, when schools are distributing financial aid. So in that base income year, you really wanna avoid retirement distributions or any kind of large capital gains. Um, there's no problem with loading up on retirement plan contributions before the base year, uh, but during the base year, any kind of retirement distribution, large capital gain, even contributions to a 401k aren't necessarily gonna help you and could even hurt you in some instances. Um, there's been a hot topic lately about Roth IRA conversions, and for some people it may make sense, for others it may not from a financial planning standpoint, but during the base income year, you may wanna defer doing any kind of Roth IRA conversion because what it will do is it'll trigger <clears throat> excuse me, a, a large taxable event that year, which will increase your income, which will increase your family contribution, and will then increase your family's out-of-pocket costs, unless you're able to appeal with the school to try to explain the situation and try to get more money. But if you're going to go down that road, you just want to make sure you know what you're doing. Strategy number two is what we call the your child is a, is a star somewhere strategy. And what I have here is an example of a family um, that applied to three different schools we got award offers back from this family. One was Fairfield University, which the cost was right around $51,560. They gave her $14,000 of, of aid. Syracuse University, cost was $49,152. They gave her $14,700 of aid. So pretty comparable, uh, Fairfield and Syracuse. Then there was Villanova. Villanova came back, they're $50,340. They came back with an aid offer of $39,530, which is far greater than the other two schools. Now these are all three good schools, $50,000 a year type schools, yet one came in just far and above the others. So that school, Villanova in this instance, really wanted that, that, that student far more than the other two schools did. So what we say is your child is a star somewhere, and that's why you always want to apply to different schools and just make sure that you pick the school that's not only the best fit for the student that they're going to be happy at, but the school that's also going to come back with the most amount of free money for your family um, because they really want your student and are willing to pay to get him or her to go to that school. Strategy number three is what we like to call the big retirement plan no-no. Um, and this comes down to don't withdraw money from a 401k plan or an IRA to pay for college. Um, unless it's the absolute last resort, and even then it's arguable, uh, when you withdraw money from one of those plans, what it does is it creates um, an income from that year. It artificially increases your income. It artificially increases your family contribution. Uh, not only is it bad financial planning, but 99% of the time you end up paying more money for college just because you went and did that. So you, it's a very common mistake. We see people do this all the time. So just keep that in mind. You're, you're, you're better off delaying those contributions until after college, if at all possible. So there you have it. Uh, three little ways to get more free money for college. Once again, I'm Scott Weingold over at the College Planning Network. Don't forget to visit us at www.collegemadesimple.com. Thanks and have a great day.